Oh, it's morning. It's early in the morning, certainly early for me. It's half past seven and we're on our way to the boat because we had a phone call from a delivery driver saying, where's your boat? Oh, where do I get, how do I get to your boat? Oh, what? Who are you? Oh, delivery driver. So our enormous materials order, which I was expecting to arrive at about 10, 11 o'clock this morning, <laughs> is going to be waiting for us. Uh, luckily, the yard lads, being the good bunch of lads they are, are going to forklift it round to to the boat in the compound, in the boat yard. So uh, as soon as we get there, hopefully, I'll be able to check the order over and start loading it onto the boat and start doing some funky work. Yep, it's delivery day folks, and here we are. 25 kilos of resin with mech, mech P, and primer, and glass, and nidoplast. It's the first time I've ever ordered anything that arrived on a pallet. It's crazy. So I spent the day on Friday making the bulkhead for the chain locker, but unfortunately all of the video files for that have been lost. So we skip forward to Saturday. And what we spend our time doing here is getting all the junk out of the way so that we can prep the structure below the temporary sole and cut and glass new nidoplast panels to get down. So let's crack on. So we've been working, I've been working some more on uh, the sole or the, uh, the below the sole. So we've got all the, uh, all the bulkheads in and this interesting arrangement down here so that we can have a bilge pump uh, which will be accessible through an access hatch. Um, it's very exciting stuff. It's all been cleaned up, nicely resined, and uh, it's absolutely solid. It's beautiful stuff, completely encapsulated. Um, so once the uh, the two panels are finished, I'll be dropping them in here and putting a contiguous layer of glass over the top. So it's one nice, big, solid piece. So here we are, here's the smaller section of the um, new sole that we're going to be putting down in a little while. Uh, it's got glass on both sides, just waiting for this top side to, to set up and then I'll trim the edges off and go and fit it inside 
and after that I will be glassing the other side of this panel because it's bare on that side so that's going to take a good three quarters of a litre of resin uh, if not more to prime it and get a layer down and then I'll marry the two in the uh, saloon I nearly forgot and then remembered and then didn't forget was that I needed to gel coat all of that in so I've just done that and while that is setting up I'm going to go and do the flip side um, glassing on the largest panel and then we should be able to drop them in glass the top side flip it over glass the other side and then Tab it in position. It's terrifying, I tell you. Absolutely terrifying, but wonderful. Oh, blimey. Exhausted. Well, time's run out on us tonight. It's eight o'clock and it's dark outside and we're running some lights inside. But, joy of joys, king of kings and so on, I'm actually going to lay down on my new cabin soul. Ah. <sighs> I've got to glass it together, there's actually two pieces and I need to take care of the join. And it has been incredibly hard work and my back is killing me, but it's in and it's pretty solid with two more layers of glass, one on each side. It will be formidable. And uh, it's really changed the acoustics in here actually, it's softened it out quite nicely. So that's wonderful news, that bodes well for the future. But I can't lie around like this because I've left Wifey tidying up. She's very kindly come to help out at the end of her work day. So I better crack on. But tomorrow I'll come back and hopefully finish up and get it all tabbed in. Wonderful progress. Hooray! Okay, it's soul glassing day. Which means getting this sheet of glass, combination glass, resined on. Down here-ish uh, is the gap between the two panels. I'm going to PVA along the shoulders so that we don't glass the, the new sole in before time because I need to flip it over, fill the gap between the two panels with thickened resin and chuck another layer of glass on the other side. So let's get the PVA down and see what happens after that.
So I'll just put the last section of glass in. Uh, the side that is up at the moment will end up being the underside. Um, I'm not going to bother gel coating this. I've got the, the fan running just to help it set up a little bit more quickly because it is getting late and I'm getting hungry. Um, but another 10 or so minutes, just time for a cup of coffee. And I will flip this over, glass the other side, um, paint it with delightful blue gel coat, uh, tab it in and then paint it with delightful blue gel coat. So we are making good progress today. It's lovely stuff. Um, just a quick note, I'm using Encore 30 um, resin from our friends at East Coast and it's a really good consistent re predictable resin. Um, it sets up just as you'd expect every time. Uh, the absorption rate into the heavy glass is fantastic. Really, really good, good resin. Um, so there's a bit of a recommendation for you. Morning everybody, Sunday aboard Bebop and the butt joint that I did on Friday has set up beautifully so now what I need to do is to just put the last bit of glass on that side clean up below the sole because it's going get a little bit dirty, a little bit mucky so we'll get some acetone and maybe another layer of gel coat down on that then drop the floor down, tidy it up and tab it in and then have a cup of coffee and some croissant Okay, so I've got the sole down right way up, but there are a couple of boo-boos, for instance this. So I'm going to grind this area out, re-resin, re-glass, just to make sure it's absolutely flat. There's a couple of more on the other side as well, we'll just have a quick look at them. So here on the edge, this was a problem area when it was setting up, I had to roll it repeatedly. Um, so I'm going to grind that out as well. Um, a couple of little spots on the butt joint. But I think that's not going to take long to do. So, on with the overalls and we'll crack on. Now the sections that I've just ground out and re-glassed are setting up. And while they finish setting up, I need to grind out the fringes of the glass that we did on the shoulders as part of the fixed work on the inside of the hull down there. Um, so I'm going to grind those out now with our lovely power file and then it will be time to fill the edges or clean off the PVA, fill the edges and tab in. Right, well that's the port side resined in. I'm going to go and have my lunch while that's setting up because it positively honks in here uh, with the acetone and the resin. So I'll go and have my lunch while that's setting up and then I'll do the other side and while the other side is setting up I'll tab this side in. And by the time I've done that the other side will be ready for tabbing in and then the floor will be secure. What a wonderful day. So that's both sides nicely resined and battered, delicious. So now I'm going to take some of our um, slightly older biaxial cloth and tab it in. I think two layers of tabbing per side, so we do need to make up for some lost material on the shoulders. But this should really put us in a fantastic position. end of the day Sunday I've just put the last bit of glass down to reinforce the radius of the shoulders down here I'll be back tomorrow to gel coat in but that is the end of this episode I've been holding back until we got this tabbed in um, but I'll be back tomorrow to gel coat in which will look absolutely spanky and once that's set up then it will be time to move all the junk from the forward cabin into the saloon and I'll be cutting the forward cabin bulkheads out 
and using them as templates on sheets of Nidoplast, cutting them out, glassing once each side and hopefully getting them in situ at some point next week. Won't that be absolutely fantastic? So, hope you've enjoyed the episode. It's been a long one. Take it easy and we'll see you very soon back aboard Bebop. <laughs>